because we do know that usually at this time of night, between seven and eight, you are usually here. That's... <laughs> <laughs> There are yes. play to hundreds of thousands of fans, right, in stadiums all over this the world. But on a wet, windy Wednesday, you can be found in Kidderminster a whole lot. playing football in front of one man and his dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, did, that, for, is that me on there? No, is it not yet? No, this is live. This is live, and because you're here. You know, basically, the best man for the job to sub you uh, is our star from the One Show team. This is Joe Crowley, so we'll hand over that. He's our bibs man. He usually turns up with all the bibs, so he's very popular. Go on, Joe. Take it away, my friend. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello. Yes, these guys have been sharing a whole lot of black country love about the man who, round here, is affectionately known simply as Planty. Now, we just saw Planty. there in that film that Stanley Matthews made his last appearance age 50. Uh, but what about Planty, then? Age 69 on a football pitch, Matt. Let's start with you. So what is he like as a player? Is he a presence Steady, in the field? Does he stay guy. in position? Or does, is he more the rover? In his head or in real life. <laughs> you know, I mean, he's got to be fair to him. He's got a great touch, great turn. Sometimes takes everybody on. But, you know, to be fair, it is a bit slow motion. Uh, <laughs> but he's got a touch then. So he's not one of these clumsy players that comes on and think, you know, you're going to get trampled underfoot. No, he's a great player. He's a great player. He scores, like, literally once, twice a year. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and Smudge, tell me, I mean, what's it like playing once a week with a rock legend? Yeah, it's good, but he's not a legend here. He's just uh, one of the lads. No special treatment for him. You have to say that. You work for him. You're trying not to get him into trouble. But tell me this. Is, is his football better or is his description of it in the pub afterwards better? Description in the pub afterwards. <laughs> I thought you might have said that. And, uh, and tell me, you know, Mark, uh, about the good times, bad times of, of planting on a football pitch. <laughs> when I look back at this in time to come, you know, uh, I'll always remember Planty always arriving late. Always late. And there is a bit of a conspiracy theory amongst the team as to why. Uh, it's usually about 45 minutes late, which is half time in football terms. <laughs> so by the time he arrives, we're all absolutely knackered, soaking wet of sweat, dead on our feet. So he trots onto the pitch like the proverbial spring chicken, dribbles circles <laughs> round, doesn't score several goals, and then obviously reaps the glory down the pub later. So. I see. So you're exhausted, you're dazed and confused, and then enter Planty to ramble on and bring oh, it on home. Oh, exactly dear. that. And we know his game. We know uh, his game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But he's a, he's a great bloke, you know, he's a great chap. Uh, lots of character, like there are lots of characters up here. We play football, we share banter, we go down the pub and have a few points. He lives in two worlds, rock world and this world. <laughs> oh, it's a great privilege to share this world with him. Wonderful. Guys, get back to it. I'm going to come and join Checked you in a in second. Party, we have had a chat, actually, and we've decided that the beers are on you after the yeah. game, OK? I so uh, you're going to pay for however many goals the winning team scores here tonight. <laughs> so after the show, ring up your landlady and give her your card details, all right? <laughs> and look, I'm going to be your super sub. I'm going to come on. I'm going to try and score a few of those goals. And uh, to help me, I've got a, uh, a West Brom top oh, here. That's right, isn't it? Or has there been a communication breakdown? No? All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Well done, Joe. Brilliant. Cheers, team. Well done, everybody. In Kidderminster. <laughs> that was terrific. Wasn't that fun? And you know, the great thing about it is <clears throat> those guys are all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and we also, we do defibrillator practice. Because <laughs> well, the last guy you spoke to was a fireman and he yeah. put a, we had a blow-up doll on the floor in the pub <laughs> and we had to open the box and it's, it talks to you, you know? The bo you yeah, it does. We yeah. have yeah. been on the Not the, the blow-up doll. No, 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 no. the defibrillator. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. It's true. Some of it's true. I am really good for about a minute in everything <laughs> I ever do. <did. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, we'll leave football there for now. We might revisit and see how many pints you have to buy uh, a bit later on. I wish I could see him tonight. Sadly not, no. unfortunately. Next going, week, yeah. plenty. We'll move on to music, shall yes. we? I think <clears that's good. throat> Now, uh, Robert's new album has echoes of his earlier work with Led Zeppelin. So before we find out more, let's take a look.